Welcome back. The city of Daphne is celebrating a major milestone with the grand opening of its brand new animal shelter. Locals are calling it a game changer, offering not just a safe haven for the animals, but also a space for the community to come together. Fox Sons and I Sprags gives us a tour of that new facility. The cut of a ribbon. What a great day in the city of Daphne. Mark the official opening of Daphne's brand new animal shelter, replacing the previous building on Johnson Road. Before you even see the animals, the lobby welcomes visitors. It's named after Dr. Albert Cordy, who once was the only veterinarian in the city. If you know, he was instrumental in taking care of our animals at the original shelter making that happen. Uh, it's just a, a, an amazing man. And so we, we so much want to recognize his service for us. One thing you'll immediately notice when you walk in is the smell. While in there, there were animals there, but you didn't smell, you know, uh, uh, like it, old animals or dirty animals or anything like that inside of there. It's one feature that makes it more welcoming. We have six different ventilation systems in this um, facility. This is a public facility. They want people to come and visit the animals and walk the animals and play with the animals. So I think it's a game changer. The building was built with isolation rooms and a medical space as well. But the most important element above all is the space. We have 24 dog kennels. And in addition, we have some isolation areas so that if necessary, which that hopefully is not going to happen anytime soon. And then we have over 22 cat kennels. So, okay, certainly sounds like a big difference from the last facility, it's right? It's probably 10 times what we had. Betsy Schneider considers it an upgrade. Well, our last facility was so small, it was so stressful. As for what locals like most about the new shelter, well, obviously the catios are uh, really charming because the cats will be cycled in and out of their cages. One of my favorite parts is definitely the classroom because it's uh, more than just the animal shelter. The community actually have an opportunity to come and, and have meetings. Daphne's own Kurt Fonger says the facility reflects the city's commitment to animal welfare, but emphasizes the need for continued support. It seems to me that it's an ongoing project because <clears throat> with the size of this project, we need volunteers and we need donations, not only of money, but of cat food and dog food. Anaya Sprague's Fox 10 News. And if you'd like to donate to volunteer, adopt, or foster any of the animals at the shelter, call 251-620-2800. And that number is at the bottom of your screen.